Hello everybody, my name is Atkwe Kubani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright, so let's go to Photoshop. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Ctrl N. This is going to pop up. You're going to leave it at 1000 pixels for the width, 1000 pixels for the height. The resolution is going to be 72 pixels. Color mode is going to be RGB color and then 8-bit. And then we'll name it um, birthday flyer. Okay, now this whole week we are designing birthday flyers. Birthday flyers, that's what I want to do for this whole week. Um, I want you to know the tricks and the tips, every single thing that we do to create amazing flyers for our birthdays or for anybody that you cherish. You click OK and then um, we go for our, our background. Let's use this. And what we are going to do is we are going to push this here a little bit, make it contrast here a little bit. See, now this is nice. This is nice. Then we are also going to give it exposure as well. Push it down to around 1.7. Great. Personally, I think this is cool. I think this is cool. Let's put it here. Let's name it um, BG. Now, this is where the magic happens the image itself. I'm going to use an image I found online. I mean, Dianu. These guys are like amazing. Man, you should check them out. Dianu's clothing. They are so good at doing what they do. I'll uh, link to their website and then their YouTube channel for you to check them out. I mean, they are not paying me or they are not sponsoring this video or anything of that sort. I just love their products. And so, um, so let's let's take the background off. So you pick the magic wand and then you click at the white side of it. Then you can see the teeth and the earrings are also selected. We don't want that to happen. So we click here and we click on the third one, this one. Then make sure your caps lock is off. Click here, click here, click around the inside of it. All right, now we've selected it. Everything is gone now. Now this is great. So you right click it and then you click on select inverse. Then you click on refine edge and then push it up. Mm, looks good to me. Make sure the smooth also goes up. Make sure the contrast also goes up. Show you bring this one down. It's too much. Push, push it a little bit down. Take it off. All right. All right. So we're going to leave the smooth at zero, the feathers at zero, the radius 5.5, and then contrast is 17. Shift the edge a little bit to minus 20, and then you click here. Then you click on new layer with layer mask and you click on ok looks so nice looks so nice looks so nice uh, let's convert it to smart object we can delete this one if we want to so let's resize this all right now let's go back to the background now you see i intentionally did this on purpose the background has a lot of details in it the image also has details in it and so these two things are contrast they are fighting against each other we need to make sure one is out of focus for us to for our eyes to focus on one particular thing the image so let's bear the background a little bit okay um i like to use ctrl b a shortcut for it but you could go to filter you could go to blur you could go to caution blur and then there you have it simple just like that and then it's been now you can see that the eyes is easily drawn to the image in front not the one behind okay but as nice as it looks we still need to make sure the image blends with the background how do we do that we go to um adjustment we go to curves make sure you click here and then now we start with the magic Please pay attention so that you don't miss the steps. 
Now this one stands for the dark, this one stands for the mid-tone, this one stands for the bright side. Okay, so we double so we double click it one, two, we go to the dark side of the background. Now you can see that it's I selected the dark side of the background, it still goes to the white side. It means we've done something wrong. So let's cancel it. Now we've seen that we've selected the layer mask. We don't want that to happen. Let's click here. Always make sure this side is rather clicked or selected. Not here. Here. Alright, so let's go back, double click here, click on the dark side. Now you can see it is reflecting nicely over there. We love it like that. Click yes. Click on the bright side. Double click it, sorry. Double click it. Let's go to the bright side. The bright side is definitely going to be all these sides because I can see it's very white. Right, let's very place. I'll select here. I'll go here. Okay. And then select OK. Yep. Now the mid tones, an area which is not too bright and not too dark as well. So perhaps go for the green area. Mm-hmm. Go for around the green area there. I'll, I think I'll pick this one. I'll pick this one, yeah. Pick that one. So there we have it. Now everything is set now. What we are going to do now is we double click it and then we pick the background, right? Now we are going to click it once and then we pick it to the image itself. So here stands for the black or the darkest side or the shadows. So pick the shadows of the image itself. See, it's beginning to stand out now. They will pick this side. We pick the brightest side of the lady. And I think both this side and then the teeth are both shiny. So we could pick those side. I think I'll pick the teeth. They will come for the mid-tones. The mid-tones. So you click on the yellow, the yellow side be, beside this. So I'll go for right beside it. It stands out too. So this is okay for me. Okay, now this is okay for me. All right. Great, 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 great. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to put a color, color look up on it to make both blend at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to click here. And I'm going to I'm going for a um, lit sunset. Then I'll come here and click on soft light. Then I'll reduce it to around um, 40, 30, from 35 to around 40 percent will work perfectly good. I'll click on it again, go for color lookup again, and then this time I'll go for crisp warm set it to soft light again but this time i'm going to reduce it drastically to 20 something so from uh from 16 percent from 15 percent to 20 percent is good it's good for us we're going to put it all right so i'm going to name it um image right but don't forget, I want it to be down. I want it to be around here. Mm -hmm. I know. Let's close it. Type happy birthday. Now it's all in caps because of this. So we have to change, make sure here is zero. And the font I want to use is taken by Vulture. So demo, yeah. Um, but guys, do not worry. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description for you to download. Just type here. Then maybe type our message. Um, wishing you the best life could ever bring your way this is just an example you could use whatever you want okay so control t and then all right 
then we are going to all right nice 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 all right so guys let's take this one over let's bring something um, for alignment purposes we need to if you can't find your rulers this control i will bring it up for you okay all right so let's see we need to align it we need to make sure it is in the middle of the line pull it up a little bit let's give it some shadows to make the test stand out and if possible we need to also a layer and then we go for let's use brush let's go for the soft one and then increase it make sure the opacity is set to around 30 something percent or 27 and then make sure it's light black and then just pass through it pass through it pass through it all right all right so all right so it makes the test turn out a little bit that's what we want um push it in front a little bit then um let's the birthday 20 i love 25th december Boost it up a little bit. Let's see. Bolding it. Let's change the font. Let's choose Franklin. And let's take the boldness off. Then let's enlarge it small. Personally, I think this is okay. Maybe we should give it a different color. Mm. Well, I think this color is cool. Let's make the date like that. It's good to experiment and then you get the one that you like. And the next thing is her name. We need to put her name there. How do we do it? We put her name here, we could put her name here. Uh, Akushia Feng Pong. Nice name. Now these are all Ghanaian names. These are all <laughs> these are all Ghanaian names, guys. So uh What color should we choose? Um, mm -hmm. so let's give it um, a stroke. Let's make it two, the stroke two. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's put a stroke in bet behind the image and let's see how it looks. Okay. Now. I think this is good. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, um, this is how you create a birthday flyer. Um, add a little bit of Photoshop manipulation tactics and then a normal um, flyer design as well. So. Please, if you love this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. Don't forget to leave your comments as well. I love you all. Peace out.